Hey YouTube, this is Glock Ninja, and I had a unboxing video for you today, and I made the unboxing video, and then I accidentally deleted it after I unboxed it, and uh, I went to uh, upload it to the computer, and I found out that I deleted it by accident, so uh, what can I say? Uh, I unboxed it already. But here's the box that it came in. And I think everybody know what that is. Um, that is the uh, PlayStation 3, Sony PlayStation display. Okay. Uh, when it first launched, <coughs> it cost $3.99. Okay, here's the best part. At BestBuy.com, this is going for $1.99 right now. Yes, it is. So if you guys are looking for a second display or a dedicated display for your console gaming, go to BestBuy.com or go whatever website you normally go and check it out. Because uh, I think these are going out of clearance or uh, clearance sale or whatever. But uh, at BestBuy.com, this was only going for $1.99. I don't know how many is left and I don't know if they're going to be selling anymore or if they're going to continue the pricing at that price. Uh, I don't know. Uh, go check it out, guys. It's a great deal. At, let me see, at $3.99 or $4.99, I would say it's not a very good deal. Not right now. Uh, only because for about $400, $500, you can buy a 42-inch, 37-inch, maybe 36-inch, 1080p television set uh, in 3D that can do just as good of a job as this uh, Sony uh, but I do have to say Sony does have a very good picture quality okay it may not be the highest contrast in the business but far as in picture quality goes definition color clarity um, Sony is number one okay you know that Samsung and LG look good but if you look closely You'll see fuzziness, you'll see lack of detail. It has a very high contrast rate. The Samsung and LG televisions have very high contrast rate, and that's what makes the picture look really good at first. But when you examine it up real close, you're going to see that the picture quality is not as good as the Sony's. Already, what came with this uh, uh, package was the display, uh, one 3D uh, active shutter glasses and the game apocalypse motor storm apocalypse here it is okay i even unboxed the game on the video it comes with the manual the disc and it has background art pretty neat uh, i haven't played it yet can't wait uh, one thing good about uh, missing out on the unboxing video um, i already have it set up so uh, i just turn it around and there it is okay and uh, this is actually the first addition to my media room okay um, as everybody know I, I announced this on my previous videos that I was gonna create a little bit of a media room as soon as my son went to college I was gonna move things around a little bit and put my PVR down here and uh, add a few things to this room that will turn it into where I'm going to do all my videos uh, processing and all that. Um, the display is awesome. I'll give you a demonstration. I, I videoed that a little bit. Um, the PlayStation 3 is hooked up. I brought it down from uh, upstairs. Uh, the Xbox 360 is hooked up. The only problem I have now is uh, I lost the uh, disc that came with my hot podge. So... <laughs> Uh, and uh, for some reason, I hooked it up to the um, PC down here, okay, um, there it is, the PC, and for some reason, the computer's not recognizing the hot podge as a hardware, it's not, rec it's not doing anything, and, uh, and I don't have the disc for it, so I can't install it right now, so uh, I'm screwed as far as making uh, video capture videos right now. Um, but I have the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360 hooked up. 
this will from now on be the media room where I will do all my uh, video processing uh, for YouTube all right YouTube this is my initial setup uh, I got the PC over here with the PC monitor at the top there's my PC here's the PlayStation 3 display with the PVR next to it okay and the PlayStation and the Xbox 360 is over there okay now um, the glasses the 3D glasses are charging right now, and I'm charging it through the uh, PlayStation 3 USB port. I thought that the display had a USB port somewhere so the glasses can be charged through the display, but I couldn't find the USB port. If you guys know where that is, let me know. But anyway, I have the Xbox 360 hooked up through HDMI, and the PlayStation 3 hooked up through HDMI. And I have the uh, Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 component cables there in the case below. Uh, in case I want to do screen capturing, then I will uh, switch it back over to component cable and hook it up to my PVR. And uh, right now I haven't uh, set up the display the way I want it. I just turned it on. It went, looks like it went dark to uh, screensaver mode, I guess. Uh, once I get it set up. Um, I'll do a little uh, video but this is my initial setup uh, I have the uh, gaming gear the consoles over there I, I'm, I'm the next uh, console I'll bring down is the PlayStation 2 and I'll set that probably down in the case because I don't play that much uh, PlayStation 2 but in case there are times I want to play the PlayStation 2 I'll uh, have it there to hook up um, but the display seems to be working okay alright folks uh, as you can see I have the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation hooked up uh, to the PlayStation display um, the uh, Xbox 360 menu system looks a little fuzzy but once you go into the games it looks pretty clear as you can see the uh, PlayStation 3, of course, has true 1080p resolution, so in the menu screen is very sharp, very detailed, very, uh, 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 you know, uh, correct in color and everything. And then when you go into the games, uh, I'll switch it over to the PlayStation 3 now. And that's the PlayStation 3. Um, <clears throat> not the best example for uh, graphical uh, display, uh, but this game's one of the newer games on the PlayStation. It's a multi-plat, and the graphics is not specifically designed for PlayStation 3. Um, although, for uh, I mean, it is what it is, folks. It's a multi-plat, so graphics is not going to be optimal on the PlayStation 3 uh, but as you can see it's very sharp very clear uh, I've never seen this clarity this much clarity before I'm so used to playing on my Samsung upstairs on the 720p television set this is like a leap forward a quantum leap forward uh, picture is clear I, I tell you what, the glare is not that noticeable at all. I have a ceiling light, uh, fan light on and everything, and, uh, I'm looking directly into the display. It's perfect. I don't, I don't think I have to mess with the settings or anything. I, I, uh, it's not much more glare than a regular television set with a glass screen. So, I have no complaints. Uh, as you can see here, the, uh, display is semi-dark. Half of it on top is dark. Uh, lower half is bright. And I'm, I have no issues whatsoever with uh, glare or reflections on the screen. So I don't know what the people are complaining about. Uh, the picture quality is just awesome. Let me uh, go to multiplat here. I mean multiplayer here and get an in-game graphic uh, demo. 
quick match. Find the game. Wow, the uh, I I just can't get over it, folks. I mean, the clarity is just amazing. I'm telling you that uh, I don't think uh, I need to play it in 3D. This uh, so it's so clear that everything seems to just every single uh, individual uh, uh, portion of graphics seems to just pop out of the screen. Um, and uh, I, I really, to be honest with you, I don't think I'll need to play this any of these stuff in 3D. Uh, Oh, I suck. Oh, man, that sucked. I don't know how I missed him. Oh, man, get out. Oh. All right, I suck. That's because I'm trying to make a video and I'm leaning towards the camera. But anyway, uh, let me go back over to the Xbox 360. I was messing around folks, I'm not really trying to play the game. I'm gonna have to get a PlayStation 3 remote for this. It didn't come with a remote, so yeah, the remote will definitely make it easier to uh, go into settings and change this uh, or switch the uh, video modes. But as you can see, um, the picture quality is pretty damn.